Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3 without any tools, guys. Everything I'm going to show you in today's video is going to be brand new. I never showed this before, so therefore, make sure to watch the video closely. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. What you need to do in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in Task Scheduler and open up the first application. And once we're in here, we're just gonna make it like a little bit bigger, you know, so we can see a little bit more. And then we can see actually on the left side, task schedule library. And we're gonna click onto this guys and just simply open it up. And there we can see now tons of processes which are happening all the time consistently in the background, which we usually can't see in our windows. And also if you're utilizing like other programs where you can like kind of like control which programs are running consistently or what's your startup, you won't be able to see these guys. You can only see them in the task schedule, which is like super cool here. And yeah, we can first of all see we have some NV um, crash reports here. I don't know. You don't really need them guys. So therefore what you're going to do is actually select all of them. But instead of deleting them and Windows actually like trying to maybe like later on replace them, you know, we're just going to simply actually end them in the first place. You know, we're going to end them all here. Then we're going to right click again and go into disable. And all these processes are no disabled. You know, those are like just like some normal crash reports, which you don't need on your Windows PC. You know, they're consistently happening in the background, just like taking up RAM, you know, happening when we don't want it next up we can see here um nv profile updater daily do we want daily updates this is probably like an nvidia um correlated process because yeah here we have also nvidia driver updater automatically nvidia geforce experience and all that stuff guys so what are we going to do is just simply right click again onto it go on to end you know just make sure that this task is actually ended and then we're going to go on to disable then we can see here nvidia profile updater on lock on do we need this do we want this Probably not, so we can straight up just also like disable it, you know? And if it is actually like any process, guys, which is needed for the program to run, um, it will definitely automatically get um, enabled again. So you don't have to be worried or anything, guys. You can mess up anything here. Then next up, we can see here, NVIDIA GeForce Experience self-update. Do we really need this? You will probably know like from your friends or just like going on Twitter if there's a new update or whatsoever. So therefore we can end this definitely 100%, you know, and just simply disable it because we can turn it on just at the moment where we go again into a GeForce experience and try to turn it on. The next up we have like GeForce Now here. I have actually GeForce Now on my PC. Do I have to let it run like consistently in the background being like a whole process? Probably not. So I can again here go into disable, you know, um, end it and disable. Then next up we can see Microsoft Edge guys. Ah, I, I don't use it. So therefore I'm just gonna actually go here onto end, you know, Microsoft Edge. That literally makes like no difference guys. Just simply end it, disable. Microsoft Edge, disable everything which is like somehow related to Microsoft Edge. You, you won't be able to actually get it rid of it here on Windows 11 or Windows 10 because it is like the stock browser which Microsoft is giving us here. But you can at least like try to, you know, to um, end here all the processes running in the background because those are just like some things, I don't know, Microsoft Edge update test by machine core. We don't need this. You know, everyone is like utilizing Google Chrome or some other stuff. Then next up we can see here Bluestacks. Yeah, I actually have to see on my PC. Do I have to let it run consistently in the background? Probably not. So again, end and disable. Um, then we have also here some Adobe process, which I could probably also turn off. But since I'm using Adobe on a daily basis, you know, I just want to be like really up to date, guys. And for the rest, if you don't know what it does really, um, don't even touch it. And for the rest, guys, this is it pretty much. We disable like everything, which is like really unnecessary. Just some crash reports, automatic updates here on NVIDIA which I don't really want because yeah, you just gotta know consistently if there is an update or not. And yeah guys, as you can see, we just disabled like some few crash reports here, which we don't need. Uh, some Nvidia updates, I don't know, you will just know if there's a new driver update, you know. You don't want your PC to do it automatically every day in the background and this process be running, you know, and taking up CPU power, RAM power or whatever. So therefore, yeah, we're pretty much done here, guys. We're just gonna close this and this is it pretty much for the first step. Okay, and now you might be thinking, we just disabled everything which is on our PC in the startup. Quite wrong, guys. Also, if you go like into Task Manager and try to like configure the startup thing, you won't be able to actually catch all of them, you know? This is like not everything which is actually running on your PC. So therefore, what we're going to do instead is go again here on Windows R, yeah? You're just gonna open up here this run command prompt and you're gonna type in rec edit, yeah? This is gonna open up our registry, guys. And once we're in here, we can see now um, H key current user, which is just simply the profile we're using here on Windows or H key local machine, which is gonna apply to your whole entire PC. So we're just gonna go here onto H key local machine, guys. Then we're gonna go into software. 
then we're gonna go on to Microsoft. Then once we're in Microsoft, we're gonna go on to Windows. Just press like, you know, W on your keyboard to find it. And once we're here in Windows, guys, we're gonna look here for current version. Actually open this up. And once we're in here, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit until we find run, guys. And once we're in run, we can see now here, those are actually like all the auto things which are running on our PC. I have here Adobe again in the background, you know, my cloud um, for my um, rendering program. Then we have Riot Vanguard, you know, if you play Valorant, real Tech Audio Driver, Security Health. This is like one of those things. I think like most of the people anyways have like an antivirus here on your PC. So therefore we can actually delete this guys. Um, this is like no issue at all. And then we can see also X mouse button control. This is like the program I showed you recently guys for less delay actually on your mouse. But as mentioned, once you set it up properly, you don't even need this anymore on your PC. So I can also like delete it guys, yeah? Those are like two things which I could already delete here on my startup, which are just super unnecessary. If you see something like RTK, that's like probably your Retake audio driver. There should be no problem if you actually delete it, but I don't want to risk it. So therefore I'm just going to keep it on here and the rest I just simply need here. My dope, Ride Vanguard and Realtek Audio. Of course guys, if you don't play any more like any of these games, which you need like a certain anti-cheat or whatever, like let's just say you haven't played Valorant in like super long, you can of course also delete it. And then again, once you start playing it, you know, it's going to get re-enabled here actually. And with that said, we're pretty much done here guys and we can close this as well and we're done here with the next step. And yeah guys, for this next step, we're just simply gonna go into a Windows search bar again and just simply tap in control panel, yeah? And open up the first thing here. And once we're in there, we can see now we have programs and uninstall a program. We're just gonna straight up click onto it guys. And you can see I have so much stuff here on my PC, which I don't actually utilize 100% every time. And yeah, you can see I have tons of tools. So what I'm just simply going to do is I'm going to start here from the top guys. We can see here, first of all, Adobe. I of course need this. Anti-Micro is for controller players. So therefore I can definitely 100% uninstall it here. Yeah, I just showed it in a quick tutorial. Then we can see Bluestacks 5. I don't need this anymore because I don't use it here on my PC. So therefore I can just simply uninstall it. It's going to take like a little bit longer because it has like two gigs, I think. Yeah, we have Quick CPU, I actually already like did all the um, options here in my Quick CPU tool itself, so therefore I can uninstall it. It's already saved here on my PC. Next up, what we can see here, um, tool with game booster. Also don't need that one anymore, guys, because it's like from like old tutorials as well. You now just simply go through like and try to look out for like um, programs where you know 100% that you don't need it anymore. X mouse button control. I already set it up 100%, so therefore it doesn't have to be running in the background. Um, and for the rest, yeah, this is pretty much it. We just cleaned it up a little bit, you know, try to read like browse through. There are tons of people who have like a ton, a ton of programs on there or tools, which they uninstall with some other stuff. Let's just say you're like installing Adobe, you know, and it instantly wants to like provide you with five more programs, guys. You don't need these. Just simply try to go through, you know, try to find like everything which you can uninstall. And then you just simply gonna close it here. And we're already done here with this next step as well. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.